What is going on, everybody? This is Brandon Peterson back for another Code Peterson tutorial. I've been playing around with this GB Studio, which is an app where you can make video games for the original Game Boy or Game Boy Color, those type of things. And uh, you can either export them as a ROM or you can play it on the analog pocket. And some people online have even uh, taken these games and put them onto cartridges also. Uh, there's also an emulator in uh, the GB Studio where you can test and play your game also. So I thought there's a lot of videos out there, but most of the ones that I've come across in the documentation shows how to take what has been used for the demo games of GB Studio, but doesn't really show you a whole lot on how to create your own. And so just as I've been figuring out some of this and learning some of it, I thought I would put it on here uh, for anybody else who's interested in learning and maybe wants to start something from scratch without having to go through uh, so many other tutorials and all that. Uh, all these, this will be a series of videos. They'll be fairly targeted. Uh, and this beginning one here will just give us the tools we need uh, to download and everything, enough to be dangerous. Uh, so that way in our next video, uh, we can start creating our game. Uh, so to begin with here, uh, I have just kind of this Word document that I use, like a little cheat sheet, I guess, uh, for some things that's kind of important that I want to remember and go over. And the first thing is the programming environment. So GB Studio. If I search for GB Studio, uh, then you can go here and check it out. And it shows you all the features available with this cool little program. And most recently, like a week ago, they released version 3.2.0. So that's pretty neat. If you have been using this and uh, something maybe is a little different, you want to know how to do it on the newer version. Maybe it wasn't allowing you before. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe this video will help you with that also. Uh, so once you get in here, there's documentation and their GitHub content and assets and all those things. Uh, but I'm going to go here to download. And then as you can see here, you can just click on this and download it. It's free. Everything that I'm going to show you, with with the exception of Adobe Photoshop, but the other options on here are all free. And um, Paint.net and GIMP are alternative, free alternatives. Uh, so I wanted this to be something where you could create your own game for free at no cost. And especially for you educators out there, because I want to use this with my Coding 2 students uh, before we jump into Unreal Engine, I thought it'd be fun to play around with this. Your school district might not have the money to purchase software, all that. So it's all free, all right? Once you have GB Studio downloaded, uh, then the next thing you're going to need is some form of image editing software. I'm going to use Adobe Photoshop for a couple of the parts of my project, mainly the title screens, because I don't want to create my text using just the drawing tools. I want to be able to type in there. So if you have the Adobe Creative Cloud, you could use that. Otherwise, a good free option is paint.net. And the web page itself is not paint.net. The web page is actually getpaint.net. So if you search for it, you might just search for paint.net download, and it'll take you to the search results. And you can click on this. And they have all of the information in here. This is a free program uh, where you can make a lot of cool graphic edits and all that. Uh, there's a bunch of plugins if you want to play around with it, if you like dabbling with design a little bit. Paint.net's not a bad alternative at all. Another one more of you are probably familiar with is GIMP. And so this is another uh, popular free and open source image editor. Uh, where you can create different types of graphics on there. So that's pretty good. I'm going to skip tiled for right now. I'll, I'll share that one in a second. Uh, but the next one on here I wanted to show you is one that's called Piskel. This is what I'll use for creating my image sprites. The other ones are kind of more for background kind of things, but most of our work will be done with Piskel. And you could get by just using Piskel on your own if you want. So I'll have this as, a, as several, probably multiple uh, tutorials and demonstrations with this program. Thing I like about this is you can download it. Uh, you can also use it in the browser, which is kind of handy also. Again, uh, maybe some of your 
uh, students are going to have to work on some of the graphics at home or something, and maybe they only have a Chromebook and, and can't install all those other programs, here they could at least create it on the browser and save it that way. So Pisco will be pretty useful for this, and it's at piscolapp.com. And then finally, another one, this is a free one also, and this is called Tiled. And basically, this is a free tile level editor. Uh, and this is just a way where you can kind of map out your levels uh, to where, like, geometrically, everything kind of matches up. And then um, what I will do next in our next tutorial is we are going to take a look at Piskel. And the first things that we want to do before we can really get too much into building our game is create our image sprites and our characters. So that'll be what we start working on in our next tutorial. So I'm excited about this series. I hope you are too. And uh, as with all of my stuff, if you have any comments or, or suggestions or anything, let me know in the suggestions and I'll try to apply them to uh, the next video. We'll catch you on the next tutorial.